In my hand here is a VistaTech USB microphone. It appears to be a condenser microphone. It even comes with a shock mount. And I picked this up at Ollie's, that's a clearance store, for $19.99. Is this microphone a deal or a dud? I'll find out coming up on Thrifty AV. If you've never heard of the discount store Ollie's, they sell clearance and closeout items at pretty low prices. Uh, this says our price, $19.99. Their price, whoever they are, $29.99. I want to check this thing out, but it's still in the box. Before we get into the box, let's take a look at the outside of the box. The brand is VistaTech, which I've never heard of before. Hopefully it's better than Microsoft Vista. It says it's USB plug and play, PC and Mac, built-in noise reduction. That concerns me. I don't really like microphones that do their own signal processing. And it says high sampling rate. It says it has an anti-wind foam cap, so I'm not going to bother with a pop screen in front of this when I test it out. It shows people using it for various things on the side. They actually have some specs on the bottom of this box. Uh, Monomer coated vibration head, whatever that is. Directionality heart shaped. Oh, cardioid, so it should pick up from one side more than the other. Frequency response, 30 hertz to 18,000 hertz. That's actually pretty good. Sensitive negative 36 dB, plus or minus 2 dB. Load resistance greater than or equal to 1,000 ohms. Equivalent noise level, 18 dBA. Not sure what that even means. Maximum pressure level, 135 decibels. That's pretty high. It can handle some loud noises in SNR 76 decibels. This microphone is taped shut here. The USB cable is type A on one side, type B on the other. Instruction manual showing the cardioid pickup pattern and the frequency response curve. It says it's a capacitive microphone. That's another way of saying it is an electric condenser style microphone. It says it has a neighborhood effect. Uh, basically, the closer you are, the more bass frequency. That's pretty much true for any microphone. Here is the foam windscreen. Here is the shock mount, which I was a little bit shocked that this came with a shock mount, considering the price. And here is the microphone itself, USB connection on the bottom. No controls on it. That's a good thing as far as I'm concerned. One issue with this microphone is I can't tell the front side from the back side, so I don't know which side I'm supposed to speak into. It appears to be a side address microphone from the pictures that are on the box, but uh, I'm going to have to experiment to figure out how to talk into this thing. Okay, I'm plugging this microphone in. And it was detected, it says setting up a device, we're setting up a USB audio. And it says the device is ready, I'm launching Audacity here. I've established that this is the front of the microphone, so I put a little sticker on here to help me identify it in the rest of this video. The USB cable that comes with the VistaTech USB microphone is pretty short, so you're going to have to keep your computer that you're using pretty close to the microphone if you're going to use the cable that came with the VistaTech. Now right now you're listening to me through the lavalier that's clipped to my shirt here. And now you are listening to me through the VistaTech microphone. I didn't put any kind of pop filter between me and this microphone because I'm going to rely on the built-in windscreen that is on this microphone. I am front addressing it as far as I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is the front of the microphone. Uh, now when I turn the microphone sideways, I am now side addressing the microphone to see what it sounds like. I am now rear addressing the microphone to see what it sounds like. And now I am talking into the top of the microphone to see what it sounds like.
So this is the VistaTech USB microphone when I'm talking into the correct side on it without any type of pop filter or uh, windscreen installed onto the microphone. Observations. Uh, definitely this is a directional microphone, but the cardioid pickup pattern here is not very accurate. It picks up almost as much from the back side as it does from the front side. Uh, of course, side addressing it was pretty quiet. Top addressing it was quiet. But I would say that this microphone is exhibiting more of a bi-directional pickup pattern. Noise reduction. I definitely noticed it almost sounded like a noise gate when I was using this thing. Now, if you are working in a noisy environment and you don't want to have to do any post-production to your audio, you might consider the uh, noise reduction feature of this a positive thing. I prefer to do any of my signal processing in post-production. I don't want my microphone doing it for me. And I don't really like the way that it sounded gated. Uh, I prefer a more natural sound than a noise reduced sound. I'm back on my lavalier microphone and frankly the VistaTech is not going to become my go-to microphone for thrifty AV video production. It sounds kind of thin which uh, suggests that the capsule on here is smaller than the housing that holds it would suggest. I'm not a fan of the gated noise reduction that this uses. But that being said, I'm not going to classify this as a dud. It's really not that horrible. In fact, this microphone be sounds better than the microphone that's built into a lot of the webcams that I use. So I might start pairing this USB microphone up with USB webcams when I want to talk to people in a, on a Zoom call or something like that. So I'm going to say that for 20 bucks, the VistaTech was a deal, not a dud, for that amount of money. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons and supporters. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.